Hello, people! Welcome to another edition of A Dose of Drew, and tonight we are doing book reviews. This is actually a set of books from Dr. Sanjay Gupta. He is a professor of mathematics at the University of California, I'm sorry, the Community College of Irvine. Irvine uh, Community College. He is someone I have been working with. For anyone who follows my channel, has looked at anything about my uh, math proof or anything like that on the Syracuse problem, uh, I have worked with Dr. Gupta on this. He is not the same Sanjay Gupta that is on CNN. Let's just make sure that it's just a, it's not, not only is it spelled differently, he's not the same guy. This is actually him on the cover of his book. So that's not the same Sanjay Gupta. Let's just get that out of the way. But let's talk about something else real quick because this is these are actually really good books. So you can get a quick look at both here. For anyone who's wondering, these are handle materials for knife skills. If you look at the rest of my if if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I also do knife reviews. So here's the book reviews on this. And these are actually pretty good calculus books, believe it or not. Um here's what I I will First preface this. Very, very, very comprehensive. 200 something pages, essentially five chapters on the first book. And, and if you look, fundamentals, limits, derivatives, applications, derivative, and integrating, or essentially the reverse of derivative. Uh, it's, it's, it's actually really good. And here's where I will bring into it. So there's a lot of discussion here. And, and if you look in some of the early stuff, uh, some of the description and stuff like that. So there's pictures. This is mostly um, lectures, pictures, and other stuff having been translated into book form. So you get a lot, a lot here. So there's, but here's the thing that goes with it. These are definitely intended to be a companion guide to a class. Okay. So this is intended to have lectures, notes, discussion, and everything along with it. So if this is your going to be your first foray into calculus and you don't maybe you're not the maybe you don't feel like you're a great math person or or you're a little it takes you a while to pick up on. It doesn't mean you're bad. You just might not be the fastest person when it comes to picking up on calculus or other mathematical stuff. If that's the case, I actually wouldn't recommend these books, not because they're not good, but because they're not comprehensive in their discussion. There's no one to talk about some of the details, like it, it, some things really come into here that could use a lot of uh, discussion. Let me see if I can just pull something here. Um, synthetic division, right? Like if you don't know what synthetic division is, if you don't understand what some of these things are, or what a function, if you've never been exposed, there's a lot of, inf this is an informationally dense. And while there's exposition and explanation, it is definitely intended to have another information source going with it. You, For me, say, and here's where I'll talk about what's great about these, especially for me. I've had calculus before. It's been a long time since I did solid calculus exercises and I'm a little rusty. So something like this, you know, where single variable calculus, where you're doing differentiation and integration, things where you can go and be like, God, what is, in fact, I'll even say right here, sine, cosine, tan, cotangent, secant, cosecant. Here's a quick trigonometric graph set. Here's, here's a quick little pictures of, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six of, of different orders of equations and, and you know inverse you know negative exponents and so on and so forth so there's a lot of fantastic stuff here believe it or not um but it's it's informationally dense and if you don't have an, either someone to help you bring out the depth and the beauty and all of that in god man all of that internal detail that is encompassed in here, it can be quite a bit. You'll be there's there's a lot to work through. Um, it's very good information. There's very little here. Derivatives, chain rule, l'hopital's. There is so much stuff here for when it comes to deriv derivations and integrations and incredibly informationally dense and very good information. It is 
Really, really cool. And there's Dr. Gupta again on the Calculus 2 one. And get into some of these and where it moves next. Integration, sequences, and series. If you don't already know sequences and series and you don't know anything about them, let's just say that sequences and series are how most of the time your calculator is calculating stuff. When it comes to like square, this is probably, there's probably some sort of integrated circuit or some other software, either EEPROM or something like that, that essentially takes sequences or series. There's lots of stuff in here. Parametric curves. Oh, how fantastic. Like, if you don't already enjoy this stuff, this may not be something you get excited about. I do. And there's tons of, like, integration by parts. You know, you start coming out there, you start to, you know, recognize this, pull it apart. How can you pull more out of the uh, equation or using, you know, all that stuff? There's just so much. Again, if you don't know what this is, it may not be your cup of tea or it may be something that you don't want to do. If you are willing to try, it's a very good book. I don't recommend it for someone who's never done, but that doesn't mean you can't do it. It is. These are textbooks, right? These are textbooks that go with a class that a professor of mathematics teaches. So they're obviously suited to it. They're, they're definitely capable, and there's all the information you need. So you can, you can do it, and you will be rewarded. Number one, um, you have all these examples. Let me see if I can get it. Um, first appendix. There's hints on not only is every every answers here, so you can do every single exercise. You can do evens, go back and check, and then do odds. You can do it. You can give yourself assignments, and every answers here. And there's even some hints like how to we compute like it even by graphing both. There's even hints about how to attain the solution. Right? What, what is a good way, or at least one example, sometimes it may be, in fact, most of the time in these is probably the only, or maybe not only, but the best example of how to arrive at an answer, at least the quickest. Um, it really does well at helping you when there's answers, at helping you understand. You know, you're as good as if you cheat yourself on this, you've bought this book to learn it, and you cheat by just going and doing the answers, you're cheating yourself. You're ridiculous, number one. You're just freaking ridiculous. But if you're really trying to learn this will give you everything you need. You can do multiple exercises. You can do the odds or the evens. You know, you can do half of them or something like that. You can give yourself multiple stuff so you can try it's like, oh, and then go back through the answer and be like, you know, I don't know, uh, and try and learn. So there's that fantastic. So there's answers to everything in both books, right? Uh, Dr. Gupta has a, a great bit of Bio biography on here it is really really fantastic but yeah all of the answers are in here so you can really do quite a bit these are available on amazon i will post the link to them for the amazon i have no affiliate link this is simply because uh, i have worked with this this person and i bought their book uh, both as a favor and because i wanted to really be interested i was quite interested in what they did um so i bought the book and uh very very good very very good companion guide something i use and refer to as i'm trying to remember my own calculus uh, education so especially single variable all that stuff calculus one or two is pretty much single variable usually multivariable comes later so yeah, there, there's definitely a lot there. Very informationally dense, extremely well done. Like there's there's very little information that isn't here. And that's that's really no <laughs> no joke. There's very little information on the first first basic calculus on single variable calculus that's generally taught that's not in here. In fact, if you used to seeing bigger textbooks that have all this other stuff being like wow where did a lot come from quite honestly this really brings a lot of that stuff down into the most commonly used applications and all that sort of stuff approximating roots blah 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 i mean that there's there's a lot here fantastic textbooks on calculus um really really well done dr gupta if you get the chance to watch this or anything like that or someone uh Points it out to you. Well done, book. Thank you so much. Uh, number one, he has he has met with me several times regarding uh, my proof and what I'm working on on his own time. Extraordinarily generous man with his time and his knowledge for someone who is busy uh, as a professor. 
and I, and I definitely thank him for all of his uh, work, uh, time, attention. We have met in person several times um, in order to talk about several things. And, and these books are something that I definitely uh, am happy to uh, have purchased and I intend to use, quite honestly, as a maintenance for my own skills. And if anyone's wondering, hey, is this just weird? Did you just get ripped? No, let me, let me just, I'll be right back. So, in case you're wondering if this is just a book I bought for that, no. In fact, if anyone knows who Ed Frankel is, fantastic book. Uh, and yeah, okay, here's another one. Multivariable and vector. I haven't really gone through this lot. This one seems informationally dense, and I haven't really had a chance to look at that. So I get that for my own stuff. I'm sorry, here's another one. And... Yes. Do I do this? Yes. Does everybody? Oh, I know they don't. Because, yes, I do have several different <laughs> books to help me remember these things. Oh, that's a different one. So, yeah, I do this. I, I do read things to help me maintain my mathematical stuff because a lot of the times in my job or the rest of my life, I don't maintain these skills. I still understand them, but I can't, ca I can't calculate a L'Hopital rule right now. I haven't done it so long I don't remember the, the stuff. I, ha I haven't done the process. In fact, I would have to look it up to remember exactly what L'Hopital's rule is because I don't use it and I don't memorize what that particular one is versus like a Taylor series or all that stuff for integration by parts. I understand they're different, but I, would, I wouldn't be able to write out the definition. Right? I'd have to look it up because I don't use it. It's not something I use, need, or remember in a, in, a, in a little bit. I probably remembered it for a good five or ten years after my classes, and then I just didn't care because I needed other stuff. Coming back to these... Great books. As you can see, I've worn them there. I've looked through them. I these have been used. I've got they've got folded over pages. These things have been out and about. They have not sat idle. So I haven't uh, there, there's no marks in here. I may or may not mark these up with my own notes. If I ever do, it would be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, it, that's the, one of the nice things about having your own textbooks or, or books that you can learn from. You can write in them. They're books. They're paper. Guess what? You can write in them. You own them. So, yeah, there's fun things like that. But uh, I really want to put this out here because I do highly recommend these books. My primary recommendation for these, uh, for Gupta's Notes on Calculus here, 1 and 2, are really for people who are either have another source of information that they can get to, uh, another person, they, they, or more most importantly... If they already have the information, like if like me, I've I've taken calculus. Goodness, it was two thousand and six, I think, the last time I did. But uh, you know, it, uh, it it's not bad. It's it's two thousand six was like the last time I did, so it's not too bad. Um, I definitely have crazy times on this, so yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, I, I highly recommend them for that. It's I can't say that enough. Again, if you are an enthusiastic beginner who wants to learn calculus and you're using multiple sources and you're going through, these are a great textbook, practice book. All of the answers are in the back. It's by someone who's who's uh, very knowledgeable, relatively small school, community college professor who, who has his own books. And he's very, and they're very, very good. They really are quite good. They're not expository to the point of dull. And there's enough information there that you should have questions. You should be like, hey, there might be other things. And so you can work through the exercises, find those little things, and, and learn more on your own by, ex, by, by doing the expo, exposition through your own work and uh, journey. 
And these are great for that. These are great books for that. I cannot re repeat them. I have looked through these. I have, I intend to start doing my own exercises on here simply because I haven't. I've been pretty, honestly, I've been pretty busy lately. But like, just to talk about what I, my own, 159. Let me find, because L'Hopital. Divide and all this sort of stuff. Right, when factoring or algebra. Boy, it's been a long time. Oh, yeah, hey. Slow form. Anyway, it's really, really, really fun. I'm going to sit here and end up reading it. So let's not do that on camera and be really, really boring, especially if I'm not reading out loud. But yeah, so there's all sorts of fantastic... This is this is really great for anyone who knows what that is. Um, but yeah, this this is a really great book. Highly recommend... Actually, I should say a great series of books. The one and two comes in two, two different uh, versions. Um, very, very, very good um, for people who are just coming into it. I don't know if it would be the best. I may not be the best judge or person to say what's good for people. I like math. It's something that I, I do enjoy. I don't think it's a difficult thing for me as far as like other subjects compared to other subjects. Subjects. A lot of people do. So if you're one of those people, this does provide you with at least a couple of different exercises, all of the answers, and short but comprehensive explanations it gives you room to do your own uh, exploring in the mathematical world so there's a lot of that there for a lot of people who think they're bad at math even though they're probably not they're just even though they're probably not this may not be the best option if you are someone who's already taken a class you have another source of information you have a a way, a person, a place, or something that you can access that will give you reliable information, um, then yes, these are fantastic. You don't want to read a whole chapter on L'Hopital's rule because you're like, oh, I'm kind of getting it in. You don't, there's a whole section of a chapter, but not the whole chapter. You want to do it for Taylor series, McLaurin series, or any of that stuff, you know, things like that, series sequences and all that sort of stuff. Hey, it's in here without having, right, like 2.6. Limits at infinity. There's one. 2.6, 2.6, 2.8. There's 2.7. So what? One, two, and these are all three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost seven pages for, for a simple thing. Most of them examples, not text. For those who are good at learning like that and don't need, like, lots of expository text doesn't help you in this, these are fantastic. And I really do commend Dr. Gupta for his, his ability to bring these diverse and massive topics into a more brief and truncated form that really does it. It's an outstanding uh, bit of educational uh, design and that sort of stuff. It, it's, it's really, really good. And, and I highly commend and, and Dr. Gupta is, is someone I have met. He's someone I personally know, um, be, got met over math and all that sort of stuff. So there is definitely, uh, I, I don't want to sit here and make anyone think that I don't know this person, but this is not a review because he's a friend or someone I've met. This is a review because I got the books and I feel like with what I've learned and what I've gotten from him, I have a, a responsibility to this person as well as the greater public, since I do reviews, to put it out there. So I want to make sure and get that out there. Is there a conflict of interest? No. I think that this person did a really good job on these books. The fact that I know him doesn't change that. So really, really well done. Really, really good stuff. I can't begin to recommend them to everyone, but for those who the, those who this intrigues interests or anything like that or if you may just be like you know i don't know this is a good book you may not get everything you need this is not going to replace a calculus class it's not going to replace a calculus class but it can do a great job of reminding you of your calculus or helping you 
in learning calculus, if you do this, do a few, and you go, if you go through this book to help yourself and you even get 50% of it right, if you understand most of it enough to get 50 or 60% of this stuff right, then yes, you can take a calculus class and you should be able, if you can do these on your own and you haven't had calculus and you can even get a D, like 60% or better with your own grading, you do one, you get like a 60, you do like a 70, but you're doing it on your own. And then you go to a calculus class and take this material over again and get what you've had a trouble with, you know, get more practice, get some more, uh, some more information and someone to help you walk through it, maybe a trouble, you'll ace it. The information here is absolutely fantastic. It is far more about the person that is taking in the information than the information presentation. And for that, I highly recommend it. I don't want to give it five, my usual five stars or anything like that, but it is something that I highly recommend. I would give it four stars if I were doing this as like some other review. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I definitely like this. And again, what more can you say about something that tells you all the information you need, has pictures, has has examples, gives you all that, and has answers and hints or descriptions about how to get to those answers so that you can try it again. Very, very, very good material. And with that, I'm going to wrap this up, guys. This is an unusual little bit of extra space. I had to move my camera set up a little bit in order to get this in camera. So for those of you who watch my knife reviews, this is the bigger table action <laughs> for all that's worth. So that being said, I'm going to wrap this uh, book review up here. Highly recommend it. Again, four plus stars. I don't want to give it an actual amount, but it's, it's at least four stars. Um, fantastic job by Dr. Gupta. And, and really just overall short, brief, and informationally dense textbooks that give you the information you need, as well as a lot of helpful hints, tricks, and answers in order to help you move along in your journey. And for someone like me, who has taken calculus before. It has been since 2005. Since two th somewhere between 2002 and 2005 since I last took calculus. I think 2005 was my linear matrix algebra class. Um, so yeah, it, it's been a while. It's, it's just pretty close to 20 years since I... <laughs> it's, it's somewhere between 15 and 20 years since I last did any complex calculus equations. Um... And so if you're anywhere in that same boat, these are fantastic books to help you uh, remember your old stuff, to refresh your memory, to practice your skills, the ability to go in and do a couple of different stuff, let yourself get wrong, be honest in your own grading, and then do it again, give yourself another shot. Like Get at least two solid practice bit, graded practice bits that you can do by dividing up the exercises you can really maximize the value of these books. By giving you all the answers, You it gives you two the options. To, a lot of, for those of you who don't know, a lot of other textbooks will only give you things like the odd answers and all that sort of stuff. So you don't, like the, the teacher's books give you all of them, but the students don't. So if you were to take those textbooks and bring them home, you can only do about half of the exercises on your own. These don't hinder you like that. And for that, I really commend Dr. Gupta. A lot of people don't do it because people cheat, but you know what? If you're going to do calculus and cheat yourself, you're only hurting you. You're only hurting you. If you're doing it to learn it, not because you had a class, and you cheat by looking at the answers because you can't get it instead of just marking yourself wrong and then learning, you're cheating yourself. So... Yeah, it may be, it might cause him a little bit if, if he doesn't have any other exercises in his class. I haven't taken his class, so I wouldn't know. But as far as an at-home book you can purchase on Amazon, fantastic. This is a great book, and I highly recommend it. I, I am not affiliated with this. I get absolutely nothing for recommending this book or posting the Amazon uh, link other than my own knowledge and satisfaction that I have done that I believe in it, that this is something I think is good, and I will post it, and I'll post you the link, not because I get money from it, but because I want people to be able to click on it and go find it without having to go search, and I have to click around. They can just click on the link, it'll take them to it. Make it easy, quick, and then you can do your searching, see if you want to find something else. So yeah, I, I'll post a link, and I'll put this out there, but I, I really got to tell you, 
fantastic job. We're running a little long on this book review. It's the fact that I talked for almost 25 minutes on calculus, repeated myself several times, and I'm still continuing to do so and saying how much I recommend it is pretty much a good sign that I need to wrap this up. So I'll keep going through highly recommended, really good books. And with that, you guys, this has been uh, a book review on A Dose of Drew. Go ahead, take this video, watch it twice, comment as much as you like, be mindful of side effects. Remember to like and subscribe. This has been your Dose of Drew, and I am Said Drew, and you guys have a great rest of your night.